and watch it but here now we want to talk about being used in relationship what makes somebody to feel that she was or he was used in relationship the other time when we were talking about um, not falling in love when you are in when you are dating someone um, somebody commented Gladys commented and said that you see we talk about being used but I believe that being used is only when a material thing is uh, in the play which is a hundred percent true look people talk so much about being used but you ask a question like when you were in that relationship what did you give to this person that shows that you are used every time people talk about their body and this is mostly affecting women um, and today I want to tell you something in relation to what we discussed last time. You know, last week I was telling you that, you know what? You need to get into relationship, but you don't need to fall in love with the relationship that you have just gotten yourself into unless you truly understand why you are in that relationship. And this is what I was using. I used an example of courtship. People do courtship to understand each other so that they don't get to marry the people they don't deserve. And this is what how relationships and dating should be. People should always date. If you want to date, date. Date as much as you can. But try to understand what you're supposed to do on or during your dating period and what you're supposed to do during your dating period so that when that relationship disappears prematurely before it gets to a point where you wanted it to go you don't start talking about I was used because look people I don't always believe and agree to anyone who tells me that he or she was used in a relationship where they accepted all right they gave themselves to these people to use them I want you to understand this a man came to you they approached you they told you how much they loved you and you fell into that because you thought that being loved is being told that I love you um, on YouTube today in the evening around five o'clock I posted the last part of the video that we had last time and that video um, it was a five minutes video that I took out of the live that we did here and I was saying that you know what love is not words that you're being told love is action that somebody is doing in the period that you are in relationship with them so many people including me I can tell you today that I love you but that alone should not make you feel loved if you do not see how I act the way I handle you the way I'm ready to forgive you when you do some mistakes the way I make mistakes and accept them the way we argue and come to solve our our our, our argument or our issues these are the things that make up love so when people are dating there are so many things that people get into and then they start talking about being used so Gladys did say last week that you do not say you have been used if there was no material that was in exchange like for example you can only talk about being used if you are giving somebody a man or a woman your money okay and then after giving them money and perhaps you do not have your source of money and, and at a certain point in time and they disappear because you don't have money that is being used all right but the moment you see where we get it wrong is the moment where people talk about being used as in somebody slept with you when you wanted at your will and I want to advise ladies here. You know, you are not being used if you willingly, willingly gave your body to a man and they slept with you and the next day they are nowhere to be found. You are never being used. 
And if you talk about being used, you are using each other. Because remember, this is a body-to-body -body exchange. A body-to-body. -body. And I want people to understand it. This is what is going to make you to try to abstain from having sex with people that you are not so sure about. You see, when you abstain yourself from having intercourse or contact with people you don't deserve or you don't want to have that contact with you will never talk about you yourself being used but you see we are in a position where people seduce each other they start a relationship they start a love relationship or they start that kind of what they call love relationship but i'm always telling you people here that you see love doesn't happen in one month or two months or three months love doesn't happen on one side that we you know, this one, we just met, we saw each other and we fall in love with each other. No, it doesn't happen like that. Love is something that comes gradually. It is grown slowly. You need to understand somebody, uh, you know, one by one, you dismantle them. You find somebody who is so beautiful, who is so rich, who is energetic, who looks so ready to get married. And then you become attracted to them and you start a relationship that's what we call dating at this period there's no love there is just affection there is just understanding there is just that kind of attraction you are attracting each other there's no love you want to start to develop what we call love in a relationship love doesn't happen in the first place when pe two people meet what happens when two people meet is what we call the magnetic forces of attraction you get attracted to somebody when you meet them. You get attracted to somebody because of the way he speaks. You get attracted to somebody because of the way he dresses or she dresses. You get attracted to somebody because of the way you see them treating other people. So once you have gotten attracted to them, now you become together and you start developing or creating what we call love. Um, every time you get into that what we call um uh what we call it the pot the pot where you cook or you prepare you manufacture your love a lot of things happen and ladies let me leave gentlemen away from this for a moment ladies if you want a good life in yourself the best thing that you want to do is to remove the fact that a man that will live your life, you will be crying that he used you because he slept with you. I want to repeat this so you, that you understand it. What you want to avoid as a woman is leaving a relationship and crying that he was only using me because he was sleeping with you. Maybe let me say it for the third time. You want to leave a relationship as a woman and not talk about I was being used by a man because that man was sleeping with you. You see, you want to talk about I was being used by a man because you are giving this man your money, you are hosting this man in your house, you had dedicated all your time, all your precious, you know, gifted time and mind and everything to him. But he never took his time to appreciate it. That is being used. But the moment you get to accept somebody and go to bed with someone, willingly, willingly, I want to tell you guys, that is not being used. Every time I coach people and I tell people that, you know what, before, in fact, um, there's an email that I received um, and uh, we've been chatting with this uh, lady who was asking me about uh, when is the right time to have sex with a man because I have got a guy who has been pressurizing me about sex. So what is the right time? And I told her that, you know what, there is no right time. To having sex than when you are married that is the right time we believe so we all believe so all the faiths believe so even those who don't believe in God believe that the right time to have sex with a man is the time when you are married but now 
that is the that is what is supposed to be done that is the real time to have sex with a man if you're a woman when you are married but now let us not hide in that kind of a rule or right or something that has to be done and hide away from the fact that people are not waiting for marriage to have sex and teach people now what can you do if you cannot abstain <laughs> if you cannot support yourself you cannot you know you have tried like you know I'm just waiting for us to get married so that I can go to bed with this guy but then you see the pressure and everything is like no I just want to do this I'm not going to wait what are you going to do this is what I always advise people if your mind is prepared you are prepared mentally your body is prepared you are prepared physically your faith is prepared you are prepared spiritually and your willingness is prepared you are willing to do it then you can if you cannot abstain but in a situation where you are coming to somebody and asking somebody that should i have should i go for it because this guy is really pressurizing me it's like i will lose him if i don't have it this lady is pressurizing me it's like i will lose her if i don't have it the moment you have a question guys knowing what to do right is always so easy the moment you have a question the moment you doubt yourself the moment you doubt an action that you want to do before you do it you need to take a break move one step backwards and try to get yourself out of it because this is always the thing the moment you doubt it do not do it because if you don't do it you will save a situation here you can always do it later but if you doubt and you do it and you're doing the wrong thing you have already done it so the moment you doubt yourself you've got to take a break and move one step backwards and try to refix your mind to find what when is the right time the best time to have an intercourse that you will never regret to say that I was being used by a man is when you're married to that man but if you cannot wait if you cannot abstain you cannot wait until he marries you then you've got to prepare your mind prepare your body prepare your spirit be ready for it and know that you are giving it to the right man unfortunately we don't do that and we end up crying that you know he used me you know she used me men sometimes talk about being used because they give money to women and then after giving a lot of money maybe paying rent for some lady somewhere and then when you go visiting them you find another man in the house that you're paying rent so you start crying of being used it might sound being used because there is a material exchange that has been uh, 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 given because this man is working so hard and the money he gets he gives it to you to pay your rent maybe to buy you some other thing and then something happens um my youtube account nisha nisha shirat is john gora i don't know whether uh, a karunga my secretary is here i don't know whether she is here with us watching uh, maybe she can reply to you but uh, my youtube name is john gora you can always just um, uh, find it i think uh, there is another person who can reply to you somewhere uh so always always understand yourself before you get into relationships avoid the fact that you are crying you are being used i know these things are not easy they are totally not easy relationships are not easy but you are never being used if you allow somebody to sleep with you ladies i want to ask you something if i approach you today and i tell you that you know i'm falling for you i'm feeling attracted towards you you have the right to tell me yes or no and once you have said yes for perhaps for example you have said yes when i ask you that i want to sleep with you you have the power to understand that if this man today sleeps with me 
and tomorrow he is not in my life i will be crying he used me this is how to solve this problem of being used men sleeping with you and running away when you see a man in front of you and he wants to sleep with you he is really pushing you towards going to bed with him you want to ask yourself if i do it today and tomorrow he's not in my life will i be talking about being used if you say no you go ahead if you say yes you've got to stop you've got to say no until you get a license to put my pants down because you've got to get a license there is a license and you know that we a uh, man we've got to pick a license for you to strip down your pants but you know most of the people don't realize that and we realize it because of the pressure a lot of people out there have been pressured because you're feeling like if you don't undress if you don't put your pants down uh this guy is going to go some men also the same you're thinking that you know this lady has been trying to show me that he wants she wants this thing if i don't do it she's going to go and then you do it today tomorrow she's no, no she, she's not around and let's talk about money f- with men you know sometimes men get in relationship because of what they show <laughs> and i think in the next video i'll be talking about why men sleep with you and run away uh because i just remembered that that is a video that i was trying to make and it did not come out well and i left it but there's always what you show people so there are these men who come and have a friendship or maybe a relationship with men because uh, of what they appear you know when a lady sees you in fact there's a ma- there's a guy who was telling me that uh, uh, how do you date if you don't have money and then i was like uh, you are so wrong because now you have taken the authority of dating and give given it to your pocket so when a lady will be approaching you you want to go and hire a car you rent a car so that you drive and park it in front of a lady so that a lady can say yes you want to go to a bank and take a loan and you know have some chums of cash in your pocket so that when you meet uh <laughs> gladys is saying that i can also sleep with a man and run away exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've I've, I've known that uh, there are also ladies nowadays that are just, you know, they want they just want uh how do we call it? hit and run. Yeah. They just approach a man, they come so close with the man and the man also tries to reach them and they accept and then they get them to bed. You hit her and she's gone. So it's a two-way traffic. And the money the same. So the thing at una, una <laughs> unagonga na unakimbia yeah so what happens is you have shown a woman that you have a lot of money so the woman finds space in your life because of your money and the moment you give the woman the money she disappears and now you start talking about I'm being used a man you want to ask yourself a question before you dip your hands in the pocket and get money and you give to that woman you want to ask yourself if i give her this money today and tomorrow she will not be there am i going to regret giving her this money or it will just be okay you see i don't tell people don't have sex with a man if you love them i don't tell people don't give a woman money if you love her the question is after having sex with this man and tomorrow he's not there Are you going to regret having doing it? If you're giving a woman money today and tomorrow he's not there, are you going to regret it? This is where we are talking about people being used. You know, sometimes these people are not using you. You are allowing people to use you unless you have been raped, unless you're dating a woman and then a woman calls a gang on you and they rob you your money. But the moment you did Sorry guys, I just I lost my internet but I think we are we are, we are back. So the moment you get yourself to you know take your wallet, take some cash and give to your woman. If that woman runs away, 
she did not use you. I always tell people this.